Uh huh. Fireflies by Emily K. Green. No. Fireflies are insects. No, this is a firefly. But fireflies are not flies. Fireflies are beetles. What? Yeah. Most fireflies are black or brown. See? Oh, black, yellow, yellow. See? Uh, See? Look. See the black that, and brown? Black and brown. Mm -hmm. What's that? Fireflies What's that? have flat bodies. What's that? Hang on. That's a firefly. Most fireflies have red, yellow, or orange What's marks. That? It's another firefly. We're doing fireflies. A firefly has four wings. Two hard wings in front protect its body. A firefly uses its back wings to fly. A firefly has two antennas and it uses antennas to smell and feel. Some fireflies have lanterns. The lanterns make a glowing light. See the lantern? See the lantern? Fireflies mix chemicals inside yeah, their bodies black, black, to make black. the light. Blink, blink. Fireflies can turn their lanterns on and off. Fireflies flash their lanterns to find each other. Male fireflies flash their lanterns at females while they fly. Hey, I guess that's what we're seeing when we see them at night, as the males. Yeah, I see them. Females blink back at males from the ground. So yeah, when they're flying and we see them, they're males. If it's low to the ground and we see it, then it's a female. Female? Fireflies also flash their lanterns when they are in danger. Fireflies rest on plants during the day. Fireflies fly on summer nights. Fireflies glow no, no, brightly. No. In the night, some people call them lightning bugs. Sometimes hundreds of fireflies flash their lanterns at the same time. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. All sports. Sports all stars. Eric Braun. Okay. Quarterback. Great. Tom Brady throws a pass during Super Bowl. Okay, so here, we're gonna do this. X is 10, L I believe is 50, I is one, and then you got X. So, 50, 60, one. Mommy. I don't know. Stop. Calm and control. That's how Tom Brady felt in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl on February 1st, 2015. His New England Patriots were down by 10 points. You remember that one, right? They had jumped out to an early lead, outplaying the Seattle Seahawks. But fans called Seattle fierce defense the legion of the boom for a season. They tackled Brady for a sack and snagged two interceptions. Then the Seahawks offense got hot. Quarterback Russell Wilson led the team to 17 points. Going to the initial final period, Seattle was up 24 to 14. Did Brady panic? Not a chance! Instead, he did what he does best. Brady took control and rallied his team over the next few minutes. Kaylee, please sit down. The Patriots drove for two touchdowns. Brady hit wide receiver Julian Edelman from the second touchdown with about two minutes left in the game. Just like that, New England had the lead, 28 to 24. Brady has set up his team for victory again. The Seahawks still had a chance. They drove down the field with one yard to go for a touchdown. Wilson threw a pass. Patriots rookie Malcolm Butler grabbed the ball for an interception. The win was sealed for New England. The Patriots erupted in cheers for Brady. This was Super Bowl victory number four. Many fans would ne 
the remember the game for Seattle's decision on the one yard line. Why would they pass instead of a run? Only one yard a game. But if Brady had held his team comeback, uh, Seattle blunder would not have mattered. Go sit down. Many quarterbacks put up big numbers. Tom Brady's heroics and the biggest games set him apart from the rest. Year after year, he delivers at the most important times. He is nearing 40 years old, a time when most football players have long since retired. Yet Brady is still at a peak level. He may not be finished collecting Super Bowl trophies. Okay, so right here, Brady hands the ball to the running back, LeGarrett Blount, during the Super Bowl. Over here, Brady celebrates after winning the Super Bowl. Around the world, more than 114 million people Super Bowl on watched Super Bowl on TV. That made it the most watched TV show ever at the time. Student of the game. I'm sorry, honey. Student of the game. During Tom Brady's years at the University of Michigan, a star quarterback was always on the football team. The problem was it wasn't Brady. First, there was Brian Grease. He led the Michigan Wolverines in the 1997 national title. Then there was a Drew Henson. Michigan coach Lloyd Carr said Henson was the most talented quarterback that have ever been around. Please stop. In 1998, Brady was in his fourth year at Michigan. He was forced to complete for the starting job with Henson, a freshman. His coach preferred the younger, more talented player. So did the fans. Nobody saw Brady as a star. He was average, average arm, average body, and average talent. Okay, look. What do you think they're doing? Um, Kaylee, what do you think they're doing? Silly. What are they doing? Let's find out. Players suck Lloyd Carr as the Wolverines celebrate a win in 1999. <laughs> Brady worked to get better. He watched videos of football games almost every night. He studied defenses. Do we need a koala hug? Yes? Okay. Let's get a koala hug. Come here. And I will give you a koala hug in just a little bit. What letter are we going to do, Silas? Uh, D. D. Daddy. Delightful. Delight. Dancing. Dancing. He wins? No. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, uh, delightful. Daddy, Diana, Donna, Daniel, Dolphins, Daiquiri, Let's see. Pick another letter. Because you're still so messing with your sister. D. No, we already did D. Pick another one. B. B. Boy, Bravo, um, Bravado. Um, Boisterous. Mama. Um, buoy. Boat. Buck. Bounce. Bouncy. Birthday. Birth. You're going to get longer. You're hitting your brother. That's not nice. Um, are you calm now? Okay. Now it says he's turn. The boy is here. You can get in your chair now. Hi. Are you being mean? No. I think you are. So guess what? Pick a letter. Um, this. You want K? Okay. Okay. Kaylee. Mm -hmm. K. Mm -hmm. Kate. Um, Catherine. Katie. Mm -hmm. Um, Kite. Mm -hmm. Kaleidoscope. Um, let's see. Key. Kangaroo. Candace. That's it. Pick another letter. Pick a letter. G. Goat. Go. Gigantic. Giant. Um, gazelle. Take another letter. Um, T. 
T. Uh, truck. Tight. Tiffany. Terrific. Um, I already said truck. Um, okay. Are you going to go sit down now? Okay. Silas, do you need another hug? Because we need to do hugs the rest of the time. We don't have to do them anymore school. Do you want to finish school or do you want hugs? Okay. Sit down. Kaylee, sit down. Kaylee, sit down. Brady worked to get better. He watched videos of football games for almost every night. He studied defenses. He learned how other teams played. He worked on his throwing accuracy. He learned to spot open receivers before they got open. Okay. Hands. Hands. No. Hands. No. Now lay them in your hand. Do this. Put them in your lap. Yep. And they stay there. Okay, put them on your lap. And he began to develop the skill that would help him so much in the future. The ability to stay calm under pressure. Coach Card had Brady share time on the field with Henson, but the coach soon noticed the older players' poise and improved play. Finally, halfway through the 1999 season, Brady became the starting quarterback. It was his fifth year at the school. In 1999, Brady threw 16 touchdown passes in 11 games for Michigan. Keep them in your lap. Do it again, and you're going to be in timeout. We've already done hooks. No. Next is timeout. No, please. Then keep your hands in your lap. Mommy, I, I understand. I was talking to your sister. I wasn't talking to you. Right, I, put my hand on I understand you're doing what I asked you to do. Keep him there. I did, Mommy. Football fans caught a glimpse of what a great quarterback Brady could be in a game against Penn State. The day began poorly for him. He threw three interceptions and was sacked six times. The Wolverines were down by ten points in the fourth quarter. But with an aching body and a bloody face, Brady led his team to the win, 31-27. to <laughs> Several weeks later, he finished his college career with a win over Alabama and Orange in the Orange Bowl. Even after proving himself at Michigan, Brady was not seen as a great player by football scouts. He was taken in the sixth round of the 2000 NFL draft by the New England Patriots. The 109th, sorry, 199th player chosen with the Patriots, he again found himself stuck behind a quarterback the head coach thought was more athletic. Michigan has won the college football national championship 11 times. The first time was in 1901. The most recent championship was in 1997. This time, the starter was Drew Bledsoe. It wasn't until Bledsoe was injured in 2001 that Brady got to start. Brady then led the Patriots to a Super Bowl victory, his first of many. If Brady hadn't faced doubts along the way from the Michigan fans and even from his own coach, he might not have worked so hard. He might not have learned to prepare so well. Without being forced to prove himself, he might have remained average. When Brady finally took the field for the Patriots in 2001, he proved he was the best quarterback on the team. Do you want to go ahead and time out? Then put your hand back in your lap. This is your final warning. Next time is timeout. <laughs> Highly scheduled. Football isn't the only sport that Brady enjoys. Do you have a busy schedule? School, homework, soccer practice, guitar lessons? Sure, that's pretty busy. But it's not Tady, John Brady uh, busy. Tom Brady's day schedule are scheduled to the minute. Kaylee, it's time to go into timeout. Mommy. No, it's time to go to timeout. You and Bubba are both going to timeout. It's not just you. No. So. Silas, you're going to sit like this, and you're going to sit in time out. And you're in time out. Hi, everybody. And we are back to finish Tom Brady. Um, Tuesday, as y'all know, the kids had to go to time out. Time out, went to nap. And now we get to come back and do this. Mommy, Mom. Brady stays focused during practices. Every detail, every single day, his workouts, his meetings, his games and practices, 
his sleep, his meals, even his vacations. Brady sets some workout schedules, sets some workout schedules years in advance. Every NFL player works hard. Success at the highest level takes a lot of effort. But after 15 years in the NFL, Brady is playing as well as he ever has, maybe better. Please sit down. Plant, part of this reason is his diet. Every meal is carefully planned to be helpful. When he wants to celebrate a big win with a special duck treat, he has his ice cream. Ice cream made of vegetables, that is. Who here likes vegetables? Um, me. You do too. You like your um, carrots. You like your broccoli. Um, you like your celery. Um, you like your lettuce. <laughs> you love your corn, don't you? Brady also takes care of his body with exercise. He uses restraint resistance bands instead of heavy weights. Can okay, you need to sit down? Put your hands on your lap, please. Yeah. Brady runs at Kaylee. We're reading right now. You need to sit down and be still. Brady runs at the beach as part of his training. This helps keep his muscles flexible as well as strong. No, that's his Kaylee, please sit down. Do we need to go time out? Yeah. Um, no. Brady works out at the gym on the soft yeah. sand at the beach and in the water. The soft sand and water yeah, helps prevent that. injuries. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So do we need to move to the beach so we can work out there? Yeah. yeah? What do you think? I want to go there. You want to go walk to the beach and run on the sand? No, I need And then go in the water and swim? Yes. I want to swim. You want to swim? Hey, we need to do my survival. Oh. Probably the most important exercises Brady does are for his mind. What do you think he does for his mind? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Mommy. You're doing it, Brady. You're doing it. Hang on. What exercises does he do for his brain? What do you think? Does he do crosswords? Mm -mm. Does he do word searches? Yes. Does he read? Yes. Does he listen to um, positive self talk? Hi, yeah. Daddy. Maybe. Hey, he does brain exercises to calm his mind at night. No, that helps him fall asleep What's early that? and wake up on time without an alarm. Hey, do, do we need to start doing that? No. Do brain exercises at night so y'all can sleep and you can get up without an alarm? What? Right now, you have mommy wake you up. I'm your alarm. What alarm? I'm your alarm. <coughs> so, do we need to start doing mind exercises at night? Uh, I think yes, you do. Yes. I think that'd be a great idea. No. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Mommy, I want to bed. Okay, listen. He trains his brain to help him think no. quickly. On the field, this comes in handy when Brady has just seconds to react. He does brain drills that help his vision and memory too. The body is a whole system, Brady said, that includes the brain. I feel like that's really where my edge is. Brady might not have a free minute to look forward to until he retires. That's okay. With a star quarterback, if he has his way, he might not retire until he's 50. Brady inspires his teammates to work hard and take care of their bodies. Brady and his wife, Gazelle <laughs> Butchin, in 2011. Look. What? Oh, what is that? Okay. The photo of Brady and his son, Benjamin, was taken at a park in 2014. On the football field, Tom Brady is a volcano. He's full of fire that might erupt at any time. He screams at referees who may have missed a call. He gets in the face of his teammates as they blow a play. He goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other teammates' linebackers. Brady has three children, sons Jack, Benjamin, and daughter Vivian. Off the field, Brady is much quieter. He keeps his personal life private as much as he can. When you're a celebrity, that can, that can be tough. When you're married to an even bigger celebrity, that can be really tough. Brady's wife is supermodel Giselle Butchin. 
for Brady and Butch and even going to the playground with their kids can make the news. No, sir, come sit down. <laughs> Kaylee, stop. Face me. Rivalry with Peyton Manning. Oh, no. In early 2015, Brady... Stop. Keep him here. Got it? In early 2015, Brady's privacy took a hit. He was accused of having football deflated so he could grip them better. This is against NFL rules. The league investigated and Brady's emails were made public. It was upsetting for the quarterback. In one of the emails, Brady talked about his friend and rival Peyton Manning. Manning. Brady is often compared to Manning, another superstar quarterback. Manning played for the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. The two are about the same age, but in the email, Brady stated that he had many, se had many seasons left in the NFL, while Manning probably had one or two. Stop. Brady defeated Manning two of the 17 times they met on the football field, but Manning won three of the five postseason matchups. Brady holds the edge in total playoff and the Super Bowl wins. Brady apologized to Manning for the embarrassing email, but part of it had already come to pass. Manning retired after winning the 2016 Super Bowl less than two years after Brady's email. Silas, keep your hands to yourselves. Okay, we're going to do it again. Hands up. Hands down. Hands in your lap. And they're going to stay there for the rest of this time. Right? Uh, if you can't, then we can't do your other books. This will be the only book we're doing today. And Silas, we've got the touch book, and then we're going to start on your snakes. So, do you want to do your snakes? Yes. Or do you want to stop? Stop. You want to stop after this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Brady left wears Ugg boots on his way to a photo shoot for the footwear company. If you ever get to visit Tom Brady at his home, You'll notice many pairs of Ugg slippers near the entrance. Visitors are asked to take off their shoes and choose a pair of slippers to wear in the house. Brady's a spokesperson for the footwear company, a recent Ugg advertising campaign focused on the joy of doing nothing. That's a funny idea when you think about Brady's busy schedule. Kaylee? Okay, it is time to go and time out for you. No. Yes. Oh. I love you. It's you. Kaylee, turn around. Um, and between his job and uh, family time, Brady does a lot of work for charities. He's especially known for his work with the Best Buddies International. The group works to help those with Down syndrome, autism, and other developmental conditions. Brady has fun with his friends at Best Buddies International. Postseason powerhouse, Brady warms up before Super Bowl. Tom has been with the Patriots since 2000. During that time, no team in the NFL has enjoyed more success. The 2015 season was no different. The team won 10 games before their first loss. Then, in their first playoff game, they beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Brady at least for the touchdown against the Chiefs in the 2015 playoffs. But they couldn't get past Peyton Manning and the Broncos. Denver went on to Super Bowl 50. I'm sorry, Denver went on to win Super Bowl 50. In 2015, Tom Brady had one of the best years yet. He completed 402 passes the most of his career. He totaled 4,770 yards and 36 touchdowns. In the playoff win over the Chiefs, Brady tossed two touchdown passes. He also ran the ball into the end zone himself for another touchdown. The Lombardi Trophy is given to the team that wins the Super Bowl. Brady has won the trophy four times. Four By most times? measures, Brady is the greatest postseason quarterback of all time. In the playoffs, he also completed 738 passes for 7,957 yards. Both marks are all-time records. He has thrown 56 touchdowns in postseason, which is also the most ever. As you might expect, Brady also holds the record for post most postseason wins by the quarterback. You're in timeout. Turn around and face that way. You can stay in timeout. Turn around. The pig. 
The Patriots missed Super Bowl 50, but Brady has been to the big game at his record six times. He has won four Super Bowls and been named MVP in three of them. Brady has agreed to play for the Patriots through the 2019 season while he, when he will be 42 years old. Given how well he is still playing, there's a good chance he'll add to these toes. Give me it. I'll sit still. In 2002, Brady won his first Super Bowl win. Uh, the Patriots beat the St. Louis Rams 20-17. to His all-star stats. There's little about the Tom Brady and this great postseason uh, quarterback of all time. The statistics are clear, but what about the biggest game of all, the Super Bowl? The numbers speak for them, uh, speak loudly here too. Most career Super Bowl pass completions. 164 Tom Brady New England Patriots six games. 130 Peyton Manning and Elapis Colts Denver Broncos four games. 83 Joe Montana San Francisco 49ers four games. 83 Kurt, I love you too. Kurt Warner St. Louis Rams Arizona Cardinals three games. 81, Jim Kelly, Buffalo Bills, four games. Most career bowl, I'm sorry, most career Super Bowl passing yards. 1,605, Tom Brady, New England Patriots, first six games. Sit still. You're about to go in the room for your timeout. 1,156, Kurt Warner, St. Louis Rams, Arizona Cardinals, three games. 1,142, Joe Montana, San Francisco 49ers, 4 games. 1,128, John Elway, Denver Broncos, 5 games. 1,001, Peyton Manning, Indianapolis Colts, Denver Broncos, 4 games. Most career Super Bowl touchdown passes. 13, Tom Brady, New England, 6 games. Joe Montana, San Francisco 49ers at 11. 9, Terry Bradshaw, Pittsburgh Steelers, 4 games. 8. Roger Staubach, Dallas Cowboys, 4 games. 6. Kurt Warner, St. Louis Rams, Arizona Cardinals, 3 games. 6. Steve Young, San Francisco 49ers, 2 games. And that is the Tom Brady biography. No. She's about to go to the room. So what do you think? What do you think of Tom Brady? Was this everything like what the movie had? Yes. It shows that he's very dedicated to what he's doing, right? Is that the kind of man you want to be? Hey, is that the kind of man you want to be? Yeah? You want to be dedicated to something? We just got to find out what your passion is, right? I want this helmet. You want the helmet? Yeah. What is that helmet? That's a Patriots football helmet, honey. You want, okay, I agree with Tom Brady that he is a fine football player. But, um, honey, hang on. We live in Texas. You rather have a Patriot than a um, Houston Texan hat or a Dallas Cowboy helmet? Really? What am I gonna do with you? You know, I, I can't complain too much. Because you know who mommy's favorite team is? And mommy's lived in Texas her entire life. <laughs> Who's mommy's favorite football team? Um, I don't know. Miami Dolphins. Dolphins? Yeah. Why? Why? It's just who they who they are. And if I had to pick a Texas team, it'd be the Houston Texans. Uh, that I see the bus last week. Yeah. So, do you want to do the um, sensory book? No, snakes. It stinks. Oh, you want to do the snakes? <laughs> okay. We finished that one. Which one are we doing? I want this one. Uh, you're supposed to be in timeout still. You're supposed to be turning around. Hmm. Pick while I put Sissy in timeout. Mouth. Mouth. Open. Come mouth. on. Because you can't sit still. So which one did you pick? This one. Garter snakes. Yeah, garter snakes. I yeah, you see garter snakes. Yeah, we see garter snakes all the time up here, huh? Yeah, oh dear. Yeah. You see garter snakes? Yep. Hey, Sylvester was playing with a garter snake earlier. Oh. Yeah. A baby. 
Uh -huh. A striped snake. Have you seen a snake in your backyard? Chances are it was a little garter snake. These harmless reptiles are only about two to three feet long. Like all snakes, garter snakes' bodies are covered with scales. Most garter snakes are brown or black. They have yellow, white, orange, or red stripes. Some garter snakes are spotted. Far and wide. Uh huh. Garter snakes live almost everywhere in the United States and Mexico. They are the most common snake in North America. Fun fact. The common garter snake lives as far north as the Arctic Circle in Canada. And in the Uh huh. Garter snakes live below sea level in Death Valley, California. They also have been found high up in the mountains of Mexico. Wet and grassy homes. Garter snakes usually live near water. They can swim much faster than they crawl. Garter snakes dive into the water and swim away to escape danger. Garter snakes are, uh, also live in the gardens and grassy areas. They live in the sun to get warm. All snakes are cold-blooded. Their temperature, body temperature changes with the air and ground around them. So if um, they're cold-blooded and their blood is regulated by the temperature, where do you think they are in the winter? Hmm. Sun. Well, where's the sun? It's cold here in Texas. We're getting snow. Where are the snakes? Do they go south? Like the birds? Yeah. Let's find out. No, a winter nap. Snakes hibernate. When the win weather gets cold in the winter, uh huh, garter snakes gather together in underground dens. Some snakes wander miles away from their winter dens in the summer, but these snakes find their way back. Garter snakes return to the same den every year. Fun fact, a snake's winter den is called a hibernaculum. I don't know if I said that right, but that's what it is. On the hunt, garter snakes hunt during the day. Uh huh. And the water, they use their eyesight to find fish. On land, they use their sense of smell to find small prey like frogs. Prey, an animal hunted by another animal for food. Uh huh. It's eating the frog, huh? Garter snakes swallow their prey uh, while it is still alive. Snake tongues do more than just taste. Okay, I gotta go get Sissy. Oh, wait. Hey, Google, stop. Mm -hmm. Hang on. You're in time now because you weren't listening. Are we gonna listen now? Okay. Can I have a kiss? Oh, I see the light you see. Hey. Hey. I see the light you see. There's a bat. Okay, Kayla, that's where we are. Look, the snake's eating the frog. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh huh. Yeah, Snakes' tongues do more than just taste. Snakes pick up scents from the air with their fork. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Was that nice? No. Was that mean? No. Are we mean or are we sweet? Okay. This is your only warning. Next time you're going to tumble. Snakes pick up scents from their air from the air with their forked tongues. A special organ in the roofs of their mouths identifies taste and smells. Hands in your lap, please. Growing up, gar snakes mate once each year. The females release a scent to attract males. Some gar snakes form a female. Some snakes lay eggs, but not the gar snake. Huh? Female gar snakes give birth to live babies. Babies. The newborn snakes are only about five to ten Baby, inches. Right yeah. What? Fun fact. Moment. Oh, no, yeah. Newborn snakes do not oh, eat boy. until after they shed their skin for the first time. Usually, this happens seven to ten days what? after me, birth. Me, huh? um, yeah. Look. So for seven days, the snake doesn't eat. Me, huh? Yeah. Me, huh? Let's see. Life cycle of a garter snake. You got a newborn. Between 10 and 40 snakes are born at one time. Young. Young snakes take three, no, sorry, two to three years to reach adulthood. Adult. Male and female garter snakes mate in the spring. 
Uh-huh. Okay, in just a minute. In just a minute, we will read it. Uh huh. Danger. Gar snakes have many predators. Water birds, hawks, and owls eat snakes. Raccoons and foxes catch and eat snakes too. Stop. Gar snakes live close to humans than most other snakes. Sometimes people and household pets, such as cats, kill gar snakes. And an animal that hunts other animals for food. Okay, so that's your turn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, Google. Got time for six minutes. Scales. That's nice. Here's a tail. Nice. Uh huh. A stinky defense. I didn't know garter snakes were like skunks. Stinky. Let's find out. <laughs> garter snakes try to escape if they sense danger, but if they are caught off guard, they have a smelly way to defend themselves. Garter snakes produce a stinky liquid called musk. When in danger, they squirt the liquid from the glands near the tail. The musk also tastes very bad. An animal Mommy. spit out a garter snake when it tastes the musk. Fun fact, must smell so strong that you cannot wash it off for several days. Long life. Gar snakes live about 10 to 15 years. They may live longer when kept as pets or in zoos. One gar snake lived in a zoo for 22 years. Okay, and we'll be right back. Hey Google, that time for Fun fact, common garden snakes can survive being frozen for three hours. Amazing but true. The largest known snake den is near Winnipeg, Canada. People come from all over to see it. Scientists study the snakes that return year to year. More than 75,000 red striped garter snakes hibernate there. And must get crowded in the winter. That's me. Mm hmm Okay. That one's done. And because Bubba's not here, we're going to put these on the side. Which one do you want? Not that one. What's that? Okay. Mirror your fingers. Feel that? Animals. Knowledge. You can touch. Feel that. What's that? It's a zebra. A fish. Okay. Snakes. Now, I want you to do it. Can you do this? No, right here. Okay, what you just felt is what is an animal? Animals are organisms. Yeah, animals are organisms, living things that feed on other living things, such as plants and meat. Scientists group animals according to their features. Mammals, such as cats, have fur. Birds are the only animals to have feathers. Okay. Reptiles such as snakes and crocodiles have dry, scaly skin. Uh huh. Amphibians such as frogs live partly in the water and partly on land. Fish live in water and breathe through gills. And vertebrates, including insects, have no backbone. Okay. 
largest Edmund. on land. Edmund. Human child. Uh huh. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros says can grow twice as tall as a child. Yet they can they eat mostly leaves and fruit. They live on Africa African grasslands. Rhinos have two horns, which are made from hair. Here's a small horn. Here's a large horn. Okay, let's do the elephant. Elephant. Elephants are the largest animals on land. The biggest species, African elephants can grow to four meters tall. Okay? Which is 13 feet. Hey, that's taller than daddy. Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Elephants' tusks are the their front Are their front or incisors teeth? Okay. So here's the trunk and here's the tusk. Mommy, I'm done. No, you're not. Little creatures. How small? Many. Uh huh. Many animals are small enough to fit on your hand. Those shown here are life size. Imagine how tiny their insides must be. So you got your child's hand here. Greatest horse hoe bat ruby throated hummingbird European tree frog, common goldfish, African flower beetle, Italian wall lizard. On the hunt. Oh my gosh, on the hunt, on the hunt, on the hunt. Get in there. I'm about to restart your time. That will go off when your time is off. Uh. Leopard jaws. Leopards are carnivores. They eat meat and are also predators. They have strong jaws and sharp Mama, teeth Mama. to kill and eat prey such as zebra. Zebra stripes. A zebra's striped fur blends in with the tall grasses in its African grasslands home, uh -huh. helping it to hide from predators. Uh huh. Herbivores diet. Not all animals eat meat. Those that eat plant matter, such as nuts, are called herbivores. Excuse me. You weren't here, so we did one book for Sissy. So you got berries, leaves, and nuts. Okay, let me change it. Big cats. Big cat? I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. It's upside down. I'll turn it in just a minute. Okay? Okay. How big? All the big cats on this page are to scale. What is it? It's braille. braille. And so that you can feel how what the letters are. Mm. Hey, we're gonna finish this. And then I gotta turn it so Bubba can see the pictures and then I'm gonna flip it back. Okay? Hang on. Um to scale with their domestic cousins, the pet cat. So males, lions, mane. Stop Silas. Sit down. Lion's pride. Lions live in prides of 10 to 15 cats. The females hunt while the males group the pride. Okay, so this, so this is a pet cat. This is a lion. See yeah. the difference? The lion! No, 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 okay. the lion! The lion, the lion! Okay. Tiger stripes. Tigers are the largest big cats. The pattern of their 
striped fur is unique to each individual. So what they're saying is, hang on. Da, da, da. What they're saying is, look, Kaylee, a t no tiger has a striped pattern as oh, another. Cheetah, cheetah. Yeah. Cheetah speed. Cheetah, Cheetahs cheetah. are the fastest four-legged animal yeah. running up to 110. Okay. Mommy's trying to read. That's being very mean. You're about to. Okay, cheetah speed. Cheetahs are the fastest four-legged animals running up to 110 kilometers per hour, 70 miles per hour. Okay, so here's the domestic cat. Here's the tiger. Here's the domestic cat. Here's the cheetah. Kaylee, here's the cat. Here's the tiger. Here's the cat. Here's the cheetah. See how their sizes? Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. We gotta learn about monkeys now. What does a monkey do? No. What's that? Let's find out. Monkey business. Amazing apes. In just a minute. Apes, including gorillas and chimpanzees, are our, our nearest animal relatives. Our nearest animal relatives. Apes don't have tails. Many monkeys. Monkeys have tails and are mostly smaller than apes. The smallest could fit on your hand. Okay, so here's the gorilla. Here's the capuchi monkey. Okay. What movie had the capuchi monkey? You should get this because we talked about it at the zoo. What movie has a capuchi monkey? Uh, soupy. Nope. Uh, banana peel. Banana. Nope. You ready? Uh, no. Monkey trouble. It was the monkey she was taking care of. That was a capuchi monkey. Okay. We saw a capuchin at the zoo, didn't we? Hey. Didn't we see a capuchin monkey at the zoo? Yeah. Mommy, we gotta see the zebra. We already did the zebra. Oh man, zebra! Oh, you and I can do this book another time. Okay? Sorry. Silas, hanging around. Primates have prehensile hands and feet, which means they can grip. This helps the ape or monkeys move around its treetop home. A gibbon hangs off a rope. A gibbon's feet have toes that grip. Go to your room. Bare necessities of life. <laughs> He's in his room. Okay. Polar bear. Covered in thick fur to insulate against the cold. The polar bear lives in the Arctic and spends most of its time on thin ice or in the water hunting for seals. Uh huh. Polar bear's pointed snout. Bear walking on four legs. Agile animals. Although bears are stocky, they are agile enough to stand up, swim, and climb trees, not at the same time. You got a human child, bears sitting on the high legs. Look, Kaylee. There's a human. There's the bear. Human, bear. <gasps> Ooh, is that Silas? Mommy, no. That's what I call him? A baby. That's a koala bear. No, it's baby. Very koalas look like bears, but are marsupials. Oh, I didn't know that. Females have a pouch on their stomach where they, yeah, their young develop after birth. I didn't know that. They're kind of related to the kangaroo. That is so cool. Get back over there. 
Mommy's timer just went off. Oops, sorry. I moved the camera on them. Okay. Yes, my room is my room. It's my room. Okay. It's my room. Snakes. Ew. Boa constrictor. Head. Yes. Yeah. So small. Bendy body. Uh -huh. Under a scaly skin and think is like one long backbone. That makes it very flexible and allows constrictors to squeeze tightly around their prey to kill it. Deadly bite. In just a minute. We're almost done with this, baby. Stop. Venomous snakes kill prey by biting and injecting it with venom. The venom comes in the glands and its mouth. Here's the tooth. Here's the venom. Uh, tail gets thinner. Scaly skin, a snake scales, uh, snake scales help it glide over the ground and provide grip to climb trees. <gasps> Make it snappy. Ew. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah. It's a crocodile. How do you know? It's there. How do you know it's a crocodile? I said it though. How do you know? Yeah. Long snout. Snout? Salt water crocodile's head. Strong jaws. Crocodiles have sharp teeth for grabbing prey. When they tear up because they cannot chew, they have the strongest bite of any animal, easily crunching, crunching through bones. Big beast. A crocodile's low, heavy body is suited to live in the water. Its long tail provides power for swimming. Leathery legs. I'm sorry, leathery eggs. Crocodiles lay eggs that have leather shells. The hatching baby croc uses the end of its snout to break out of the shell. Here's the hatchling, here's the eggshell. No, wait, wait. Fantastic frogs. You will. Frog life cycle. Frogs no, take about three frog. months to metamorphose, change from a tadpole to a frog. Frog spawn. Hey! Frog spawn! What is that? Let's find out. He wants to lay clumps of up to 5,000 no, jelly-like eggs it. in a pond no, and you rivers. Touch it. You want to touch it? Tadpole. After six days, a tadpole hatches from an egg. It uses its long tail to swim. Okay. Lit frog. A frog's long, strong back legs help it to swim. Climb and leap 20 times its own length. Three froglets. A young frog's back legs form before its front legs. Then its tail starts to shrink. An adult frog, a fluffy grown frog, has on no tail. And it lives on land and eats insects, slugs, and worms. Yeah. We're almost done. This is your brother's favorite, so we're going to go get them. Okay? Let's go. Okay. Not hurry, Bubba. Not hurry. Not hurry. Yeah. We're at sharks now. Shark control while swimming, helping Mommy. it hunt effectively. Uh huh. Kaylee, do you need to go time out? No. In the water, some sharks swim near the water surface where it's uh, where there is the most food. Shark's teeth. A great white shark's tooth shown near uh, life size. Stop. stop. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. A sh great white white shark's tooth shown here, life size, is serrated like a saw to tear through prey. See, look. See that? Mm -hmm. Remember Daddy's chainsaw, how it has those grooves? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. That's what that is. Stop it, Mommy. That okay. one. Can you sit here, please? Thank you. What is that? It's the shark's tooth. Sharks? Sharks have many rows of teeth. When they lose a tooth, one comes forth from a row Mommy, behind. Touch. You want to touch? I love it. That boat. Okay. Feathered friends. In flight. That? Yeah. All birds have wings, even if they cannot fly. No, that one, that one. Uh huh. Long, that narrow that wings help a bird glide and soar, while short, flapping wings bring speedy and agility. You want to have it? No. You want to have it? No. You want to have it? Feathers have many uses. The most essential are keeping a bird warm and helping it fly. Mm -hmm. Birds have developed that different cannot, feet depending on how they live. Here's a robin's crawfish foot for uh, gripping. A duck's wood foot for swimming and an ostrich's foot for running. That not mm -hmm. <gasps> ah. a bug's life. Love it, fire. Fine. Kara rabbit beetle. Mom. One of two antenna, one of six legs. Mom. In just a minute. That's Exoskeleton. Fine. Insect features. All insects have six legs. Mommy, yes, Mommy. I need okay. like 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 a chat. I need a chat. I need a chat. I need a chat. Uh huh. Uh, as in vertebrates, they have no backbone, but uh, many have a hard outer covering called an exoskeleton. On the wing, it's a spider. We'll find out more in a minute. Many insects have wings, through though not all are as large and showy as a butterfly wing. Non-insect spiders have eight legs and are not an insect. They are arachnids. Spider web spiders produce thin, silky silk. To make webs for catching prey. We're going to have to learn braille better. I see my zebra. Okay. Now, do we want to do the history of braille or do we want to do more snakes? More snakes. More snakes, okay. I this one. You want this one? Okay. Makes it easy on mommy. Where are you? Where are you? I'm right here. Yeah. Okay. Open the page. Thank you. Slithering snakes, kaboom, vipers. By Julie Murray. It's open. No, it's open. Gaboon Vipers. Mommy, Gaboon Vipers. No, this isn't a touching book. Gaboon Vipers live in Africa. They are very dangerous. They can oh, be. Okay, book. stop. They can be found in rainforests that live on the ground. Silas, yeah. please sit down like you're supposed to. They are big snakes. They can be six feet long and weigh 25 pounds. Their heads are shaped like a triangle. They have two horns. Their scales are pale and brown in color. Their scales make a cool pattern. Their fangs can be two inches long. Their fangs release venom. Gaboon vipers eat mice. They eat birds and rabbits too. They can live for 18 years in the wild. Okay, so Silas, remember when we went to, to the zoo and mommy said if a snake was friendly or an enemy? Are vipers a friend or an enemy? Enemy. Good job. Oh, next okay. book. I'm getting it. Do we do history or we do another snake book? Yeah. You want to do boa or you want to do python? I have one. No, you got to choose between. Okay, Sissy chose python. Ah, why? We're going to do all of them here. We're going to. We'll do milk snakes next. Pythons by Doug Weschler. Stop. We're going to do them all, so stop. <sighs> hey, Sai, can you do me a favor real quick? Can you go get my drink for me? Right? Uh-huh. No, I did. I did. This way. Kaylee, please sit down. Okay, so I'm gonna address two things. Okay. Name calling is being mean. We are not mean to people, are we? Okay. This is your wording for your words. Got it? You. Okay. I understand words can hurt. But was that something you needed to tell mommy? Mommy was here, right? Okay. So you need to stop trying to get her in trouble. Because the next time you try to get her in trouble, you're both getting in trouble. Got it? Okay. Okay. 
snakes. Champion snakes. What is the only snake known to have eaten a person? What snake has eaten a person? Oh my gosh. What snake has eaten a person? Eat that bones. A python. I bet you. Because we're learning about pythons. Let's Why? find out. What snake has eaten the bi has eaten the biggest meal? If you answer python to each of these questions, you are right. Oh my gosh. It eat you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, eat. python will eat you. Oh my gosh. Pythons hold many records. Pythons are a group of stout or thick blooded snakes. They live in Africa, Asia, and Australia. Only five kinds of snakes in the world grow more than 20 feet long. Yeah. Four I'm of these are pythons. Oh my gosh. Most types of pythons do not grow bigger than I'll eight feet long. We'll see. Baby. The dwarf python rarely gets bigger than two feet long. There's a thing called dwarf pythons. Yeah, by people. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. I am so glad we're reading this book, Silas. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, people. Pythons and boas are constrictors. They kill their prey by squeezing it to death. Hmm. Can I be a python? Let's see. Uh, no, I can't do it. I love you too much. No, take me. Let me do it to you. Come here. Mm. That's as much as I can do. Oh, he wants you to sit next to me. Come sit next to me. Where to find a python? Pythons live in the tropics. Sunlight, the reticulated python, and the green tree python live in rainforests. Sorry, forest. Reticulated pythons crawl on the forest floor and swim in nearby water. Silas, do you need to go back in timeout? Do we need to go back in timeout? I'm talking to you. Okay, so I have a question for you. Because out of the two of you, you're the only one that has gone to public school. What would have happened if you were doing this at school? Okay, so do I need to get you? Do you need me to tell with mommy? No. Okay, then you need to turn around, put your hands in your lap, and listen. I didn't even need that. But you need to sit still, and you need to be quiet, unless I ask you something, okay? Okay. You need me to set an example for your sister because you have gone to school. So you need to set an example for her. Got it? Mm. My mom up you. Okay. Regulated pythons crawl on the forest floor and swim in nearby water. Green tree pythons live in high in the branches of forest trees. They are well camouflaged among the cream leaves. African rock pythons live in bushy areas. Mm. Grasslands and forests. The adults like to be in or near water. The young rock pythons often live in rocky areas. Perhaps that is how they got their name. The Woma is a python that is active at night in the deserts of Australia. Python legs. In the days of the Stegosaurus, 150 million years ago, the ancestors of snake had legs. What? Snakes had legs? Yes. Okay, snakes and ancestors were much like lizards by about a hundred million years ago. Ancestors of today's snakes were probably living mostly underground. They had only tiny legs by this time. Legs get in the way of an animal that lives underground and pushes through the soil. Today, most snakes have no legs, but pythons still have two tiny legs called spurs. Their spurs look like sharp little pegs. They are found on the sides of very Okay. Um, where the tail begins, male pythons There's use their spurs to tickle the females during courtship. Record holders. The reticulated python holds a record for being the world's lar longest snake. The longest reticulated python ever measured was just over 32 feet long. Imagine this python in a school bus aisle. If its tail touched the back, its head all would almost touch the white line near the driver at the front of the bus. Giant snakes of this size are extremely rare. Most pythons do not grow over 16 feet long. The oldest known snake was a ball python that lived in the Philadelphia Zoo. It lived in the zoo for 47 years. It also it was already a young adult when it arrived to the zoo, so it's probably lived to be about 50 years old. Oh. Doug says, the dying python is one of the few snakes that builds nests and pushes its dead leaves together on the ground and crawls beneath them. Some snakes give birth to live baby snakes that are not hatched from eggs. Pythons don't hatch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mommy. I'm sorry. 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 M
You need to sit down. Pythons though lay eggs. Large pythons lay a lot of eggs. A large regulated python can lay more than 60 eggs at a time. The smallest python, the dwarf python, lays only two to five eggs at a time. Sorry everybody, we're gonna cut this short. Hi everybody, it is June 20th and I don't know where we were last time we read pythons so we're just gonna read the whole book again um, and then the kids are gonna pick out a book we're gonna try to do I eight like books um, today just so that we can get caught up on where yes, we are supposed to be okay one. stop okay. the really wild life of snakes pythons Doug Welchler Academy of Natural Sciences champion snakes what is the only snake that I've ever eaten a person? What snake has the, eaten the biggest meal? And if you answer python to answer these questions, you are right. Pythons hold many records. Pythons are a group of stout and thick-blooded snakes. They live in Africa, Asia, and Australia. Only five kinds of snakes in the whole world grow more than 20 feet long. Okay? So daddy is six feet tall. Okay? So this is like two daddies, Silas. Two daddies? Actually, I'm sorry. Three daddies. Three daddies? Three daddies. Oh, Four of these are pythons. Most types of pythons do not grow bigger than eight feet long. The dwarf python rarely gets bigger than two feet. So no bigger than Kaylee no, is a dwarf. Sit down. She's not dwarf. Um... Pythons are related to boas and look a lot alike them. Pythons and boas are constrictors. They kill their prey by squeezing it to death. This type of python called the Boleyn python lives only in the mountains on the island of New Guinea. There are about 26 species of pythons. See the python? Where to find a python? Pythons live in the tropics. Some, like the reticulated python and the green tree python, live in rainforests. Regulated pythons crawl on the forest floor and swim in nearby water. Green tree pythons live high in the branches of the forest trees. They are well camouflaged among the green leaves. African rock pythons live in bushy areas, grasslands, and forests. The adults like to be near, in or near water. The young rock pythons often live in rocky areas. Perhaps that is how they got their name. The Wama is a python that is active at night in the deserts of Australia. The green tree python lives in the trees of the rainforest. Its green skin allows it to hide easily among the green leaves. Can you see the green python? Yes. Okay, can you see the green python? Hey, can you see the green python? Mommy, he talks. Oh, hey, can you see the green python? Hi, here. Hey, where's the green python? Uh, right there. Okay, turn around, please. Mommy, I see a cat. Okay, I'm glad you see a cat. Can you sit down, please? Mommy, that nerve. We can go back inside. No. I don't think so. Please sit down. Python legs. In the days of the Stegosaurus, 150 million years ago, the ancestors of snakes had legs. Snakes' um, ancestors were much like lizards, but about 100 million years ago, ancestors of today's snakes were probably living mostly underground. They only had tiny legs by this time. Legs get in the way of an animal that lives underground and pushes through the soil. Today, most snakes have no legs, but pythons still have tiny, two tiny legs called spurs. The spurs look like sharp little legs. They are found on the sides of the body where the tail begins. Male pythons use their spurs to tickle the females during courtship. Snakes no longer have the legs their ancestors had. Pythons still have tiny black back legs called spurs. Many, uh, males usually have spurs that are developed, um, are more developed than the ones on the females. See the picture? See the picture? <coughs> Record holders. I'm glad you see the cats. Record holders. The reticulated python holds the record for being the world's largest snake. The longest reticulated python ever measured was over 32 feet long. Imagine the python in a school bus aisle. Oh my gosh. 
If its tail touched the back, its head would almost touch the white line near the driver at the front of the bus. Giant snakes this size are extremely rare. Most adult pythons do not grow over 16 feet long. The oldest known snake was a ball python that lived in the Philadelphia Zoo. It lived in the zoo for 47 years. It was already a young adult when it arrived at the zoo, so it's probably lived to be about 50 years old. Oh, 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 okay, oh. it's fine. The ball python. Ball pythons live in Africa. They are called ball, py ball pythons because they're wrapped around themselves into a ball shape to protect themselves from enemies. Doug says pythons have four, close to 400 backbones. I didn't know that. Doug says the diamond python is one of the few snakes that builds a nest. It pushes oh. dead leaves together on the ground and crawls beneath them. Kaylee Bell Thomas, please come back over here. We can go inside. You want to go down for a nap? Mom, cat? Do we need to go down for a nap? No. Then come here. Ooh, a baby. What if a baby hat? Is that baby hat? No, that's a vester. Mm. Some snakes give birth to live yeah. baby snakes that are yeah. not hatched from yeah. eggs. Stop. Pythons, though, lay eggs. Large pythons lay a lot of eggs. A large reticulated python can lay more than 60 eggs at a time. The smallest python, the dwarf python, lays only two to five eggs at a time. A mother python grabs her eggs unlike most other snakes. She stays cold around the eggs for about two months until they hatch. Burmese pythons and scrub pythons incubate their eggs. The mother keeps the eggs warm by wrapping her body around them and shivering. The shivering warms her body and her bo body then warms the eggs. Pythons are the only snakes that warm their eggs this way. A Burmese python egg hatches about after being incubated for two months. The young python will soon go after its own. Go off on its own, sorry. Toothy mouse. Hey. Pythons are Dennis's dream. A python can have as many as 150 teeth in its mouth. All the teeth are the same shape. Each tooth is curved toward the back of the mouth. The teeth in the front are larger than the teeth in the back. When a python grabs its prey, it gets a good grip with all those teeth. After the python kills its prey, the curved teeth help guide the prey down the python's throats. Pythons lose their teeth easily. Even before a tooth falls out, another tooth is ready to take its place. A python may have as many as 150 teeth in its mouth. If a tooth falls out, another one is right there waiting to replace it. Feeding. What, is, what do pythons eat? What do you um, think? What do you think they eat? A hat. You think they eat a cat? Mm -hmm. And a cat. Okay. Meow. Well, I mean, Meow. if they eat a human, I guess it could eat a cat. Uh, eat human. Yeah. A python Meow. grabs its prey with its toothy mouth. Then it quickly wraps its long body around the prey. The python constructs to stop the prey from breathing. Once the prey is dead, the python will swallow it head first. A python can open its jaws very wide. The whole jaw stretches away from the skull. This lets it swallow things that seem too wide to fit inside the python's mouth. Silas, please sit down. You too, sit down. We can stop. We can turn all these books in tomorrow and not have any books to read for next week. No. Then stop. Um, no. Pythons are patient when looking for food. <coughs> <coughs> An Anglonian python might wait for days by a spring to feed on does that come to drink. A diamond python in Australia may spend a week in a tree waiting to ambush an opossum that climbs up the tree. This regulated python can open its mouth very wide. The way it can that way it can swallow prey that is fatter than its own body. Pythons eat pigs. Pythons do not have to eat very often. They eat very large meals that fill them up for a long time. The longest pythons eat small the largest pythons eat small pigs, deer, antelope, and even leopards. A 16-foot African rock python once ate a 130-pound impala. An impala is a kind of antelope that looks like a deer. A 24-foot 20 foot regulated python can eat a 120-pound pig. When a python eats a pig, it may not feed again for months. Once an African rock python weighed two and a half years between meals, of course, small pythons do not eat such huge animals. Honey, I need you to be careful because Turbo's right there. You need to be careful. 
The African rock python shown here can grow up to 24.6 feet long. Doug says most snakes have only one lung for breathing, but pythons have two. Doug says within four years, people in the countries in Indonesia and Thailand sold 300,000 python skins to people in other countries. Pigs eat pythons too. Pythons have many enemies. Small pythons are attacked by just about any medium-sized meat-eating animal. Wild pigs, eagles, baboons, and king cobras are a few python predators. The bigger a python grows, the smaller its enemy list gets. Monster-sized pythons have to watch out for crocodiles, tigers, and hyenas. Many people are um, are also known of uh, also known uh, enemies of pythons. Other people kill them for food. Some people sell python skins to make shoes, purses, and other items. In some places, blood pythons and ball pythons have become rare because they are caught and sold as pets. Pythons could use more human friends. Kaylee Bell, come here. In some areas, blood pythons, like the one pictured here, have become rare in the wild. This is because they are often caught and sold as pets. Five, four, three. I don't need your help. Three, two. Pythons, poultry, and people. Pythons are fond of eating poultry. Pythons also eat rats and other pesky animals. In Asia, some pythons live at the edges of the cities. They sometimes dine on cats and dogs. Pythons rarely attack people. The only people likely to get bitten are those who try to capture a python. A python will defend itself by biting if it is cornered. If it is dangerous to pick up a, it is dangerous to pick up a huge python alone, even if it is tame. A big python is very powerful. And it starts to squeeze, it can be hard for a person to escape without help. Many people eat pythons, but pythons almost never eat people. Okay. Kaylee, since that was a snake book, you get to pick the next book. Yeah. You want the anaconda? No, no, they got that one. Huh? They got that one. She picked the green anaconda. Ah. Kaylee, come here. Come please sit over here with me. Please. Green Anaconda by Ellen Lawrence. No escape. It's early evening in the Amazon rainforest. A capara slowly approaches a riverbank to take a drink. The animal doesn't know it's being watched. Suddenly a green anaconda bursts out of the muddy water. The capara Kappa Para has no chance to escape from the giant powerful predator. The green anaconda is one of the largest snakes in the world. A female may grow up to 17 feet long and weigh 200 pounds. The male is much smaller but may be as long as 10 feet. Down. You know that one? And green anaconda's world. In just a minute. Green anacondas live in South America. They often make their homes in the rainforest, such as the Amazon, where slow-moving rivers flow beneath the trees. Tangled plants grow at the edges of the rivers and float on the murky water. Please stop. Silas. The huge snakes swim and rest among the water plants. Snakes are a type of reptile. A reptile's body temperature changes with the air or water around it heat up or cool. Sometimes a green anaconda leaves the cool water to warm up in the sun's rays. Imagine you're a scientist and spot an anaconda in the Amazon. How would you describe the animal? How would you describe that? Um, what colors are it? Uh, Brown. Okay, what other color? A bat. Okay. Bat. Okay, so if I saw it, I would say it's green with some brown undertones and black Dots. Sit down. Me and Anaconda. You're going to nap? Yep. No. And green Anaconda has a thick muscular body. It has green, brown, scaly skin with a pattern of dark egg-shaped spots. And Anaconda's eyes and nostrils are on the top of its head. This allows the snake to see and breathe when it's swimming on the surface of a river. How do you think the snake's color and pattern help it when it's hunting? An anaconda can pick up scent particles in the air with its forked tongue. This allows the snake to smell the air to hunt for prey. 
river hunter and green anaconda hunt by lurking in shallow water. When an animal comes to the river to drink, it can see the snake. Why? The snake's skin color. Okay, I'm sorry. When an animal comes to the river to drink, it can't see the snake. Why? The snake's skin color and pattern help it blend in with the plants and the muddy water. This camouflage allows the green hunter to approach at high speed and grab its prey without being noticed. Sometimes an anaconda wraps itself around a tree branch hanging over a river. When the snake detects prey in the water, it slowly uncurls and lowers itself into the river to hunt. An anaconda Mommy, hunting in a river. What do, this, uh, what do you think snake does after it grabs its prey? Size, what does it do after it captures the prey? Does it eat it or does it release it? Eat it. No, eats it. Mine, mine, this one, I'm not doing it. There is okay. bite some. Okay. Can we finish the book? Yes. Okay. The big squeeze. After it can kind of bite I this prey, it quickly coils its, its muscular body answer. around the animal. Then the snake squeezes the prey tighter and tighter. It squeezes so but hard that the blood stops flowing through the animal's body. Sometimes the animal drowns as it tries to struggle free. Once the prey is dead, the anaconda swallows its meal whole. An anaconda squeezing its prey, which is a turtle. An anaconda is able to open its jaws very wide. It can swallow an animal much bigger than its own head. Can you find the turtle? Where's the turtle? Where's the turtle? Okay, that's what the snake's going to eat. Why? Because that's what it chose to eat. See the turtle? Where? Where? You showed me. <laughs> a large oh. meal. An adult anaconda can catch and swallow animals that are heavier than itself, such as deer, capybaras, and caimans. An anaconda skin stretches to allow a big meal to reach its stomach. Sometimes a snake that has just eaten a large animal has a huge bump in its body. See the bump? 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 See the bump, see the bump, see the bump. The bump? After eating a large animal, an anaconda might not have to eat again for months. The bump? Baby anacondas. Anacondas usually live alone. In spring, male and female snakes meet up and mate. Seven months after mating, a female snake gives birth to about 30 babies. The little anacondas are usually born in shallow water. See the baby anacondas? While she is pregnant, a female anaconda doesn't eat. Scientists think this is to protect her babies. Protect her growing babies in case she's hurt while attacking her prey. What do you think that baby anacondas do right after birth? Hmm. Little predators. A female anaconda doesn't take care of her babies. The newborn snakes know how to look after themselves. Uh huh. They hide among plants to stay safe from enemies such as caimans and adult anacondas. They swim in rivers and hunt for rats, fish, small lizards, and birds. Just like their mothers, the babies squeeze their prey to death. A newborn anaconda may be up to three feet long. It weighs about a half a pound. A scientist holding a baby anaconda. An Amazon giant. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Adult green anacondas are top or apex predators in the Amazon home. This means they hunt and eat their neighbors, but not many Hi, animals hunt bye. them. And, okay. And a large caiman or jaguar attacks an anaconda, the powerful snake fights back. Its enormous size helps the giant snake avoid becoming a meal. As the snake grows, its scaly skin gets too tight. What do you think the snake does when this happens? Go back home. Green anacondas keep growing their whole lives. They can live to be 30 years old. Researchers, researchers have holding a live adult green anaconda. See, it takes four men to hold it, and it's still not showing everything. Isn't that cool? Okay, that one's over. Silas, you get to pick. You want milk snake? No. Okay, we'll do that one next. Okay, we'll do that next. The Really Wild Life of Snakes, Milk Snakes by Heather Feldman. How the milk snake got its name. Milk snakes are not the color of milk, so that is not why they are called milk snakes. Many years ago, farmers saw the snakes in their barn. Sometimes when the farmers milked cows, the cows had very little milk. The farmers believed that the snakes had drunk the milk, and so they called them milk snakes. Today, we know that milk snakes do not drink milk. They are most likely in barns hunting mice and rats. However, the name has stuck. 
Nine kinds of snakes dwell in the United States and Canada. They are the Eastern Louisiana, New Mexico, Mexican, Central Plains, Pale, Red, and Utah monk snakes and the Scarlet King Snake. Milk snakes live throughout the United States, but not west of the Rocky Mountains. Bottom eastern milk snakes, such as this one in New York, are gray or tan with brown spots. Mm, but I see one. But. Bright and colorful snakes. Most snakes have bright red, orange, brown, or gray. They also have black and either yellow or white rings. They are often said to be tricolored or marked by three colors. Milk snakes can vary greatly in can vary greatly in color. A pale milk skink has a whitish body color with red or orange spots that are often bordered by black rings. A Utah milk snake has a greater number of rings than most other milk snakes have. Its rings are often red, black, and white. An eastern milk snake has a pattern of tan, brown, gray, or brick, brick red blotches on the back of its neck. It has a Y or V-shaped pattern of tan. This Eastern and? milk snake in New Jersey is a pale color, pale in color. Bottom, many milk snakes have brightly colored markings, such as the orange stripes seen on this milk snake in Colorado. See, Silas? Sorry, sorry. Ooh. Metaphor. Color copies. The color and pattern of its skin is important to snake survival. Please stop. For example, in the north, the eastern milk snake has brownish colors that help it to hide under dry leaves so that its enemies cannot find its marking. Find it. The markings and coloration that allow animals to blend into their surroundings are called camouflage. Mexican milk snakes and scarlet king snakes use their bright colors as a warning to their predators. These snakes have the red, yellow, and black colors of a very poisonous snake called the coral snake. A predator might try to avoid the harmless milk snake if it thinks the milk snake is a deadly coral snake. Scarlet king snakes live in the south. Silas, please stop. Scarlet king snakes live in the southeastern United States and look similar to the poisonous coral snakes. So tell them apart. Remember that a milk snake's red and yellow rings each never touch. A milk snake's home and menu. Milk snakes live in many habitats. Eastern milk snakes live in the farmlands and woods. Central Plains milk snakes like open prairies. New Mexico milk snakes live in grasslands near mountains or deserts. Red milk snakes prefer cliffs, rocky hillsides, and cedar glades. Milk snakes eat mice, rats, lizards, snakes, birds, and other animals' eggs. They are mostly nocturnal. That means they do not do most of their hunting at night, especially during the summer. During cooler months, these snakes can be uh, di diurnal or active during the day. They kill their prey by constriction. They wrap their bodies around the prey and squeeze it until it dies. The coastal plain milk snake, which is a relative of the eastern milk snake and the scarlet king snake, is eating a skink. All snakes swallow the prey whole because they cannot chew it. Snake bite. Milk snakes and king snakes are part of the same snake family called color, color brighty, brighty? Snake bite. The scientific name for milk snakes is the Laprolepitis. Hang on, stop, stop, stop. Triangulum. Mating milk snakes. Milk snakes usually mate during the spring or early summer. They generally mate after a period of hibernation. Scienti sometimes male milk snakes fight to mate with a female. Their fight is often called a combat dance. The snakes wrap their bodies around each other. The first snake to pin down the other snake wins the fight. The losing snake slithers away and the winner gets to mate with the female. When a female milk snake lifts her tail, it usually means that she is ready to mate with her partner. About 30 days after mating, the female milk snake lays between 2 and 17 eggs. They're elongated elongated in shape. A female milk snake lays a group of eggs called clutch. One at a time, she lays her eggs under rocks and trees, stems, or logs, or in rotting vegetation. Okay, you need to stop. We're going to read these, but not right now. Okay, you need to sit still. Milk snake babies. Snake parents do not take care of their young. Babies find their own food and look after themselves. Baby milk snakes hatch be uh, from eggs between six and nine weeks after the eggs are laid. 
at birth, the babies range in length of five and a half to 11 inches. Some milk snakes, such as Eastern milk snakes, are born with blotches and will have them as adults. Stop. Um, many milk snakes are born tricolored with red, black, and white rings. Not all will stay tricolored, though. As a black milk snake ag uh, ages, it becomes entirely black. A Louisiana milk snake begins with white rings and tiny black spots, but its colors darken. A milk snake's lifespan uh, ranges from 15 to 20 years. This young eastern snake has a pattern of brown blotches on a gray body. Bottom, the adult eastern milk snake has reddish brown blotches on a yellow body. Silas. Here. You see it? Okay. Mm -hmm. hey. See the snakes? <sighs> We're almost done. We'll see. Because right now, I think we're just going to go inside. No. Milk snake defenses. Besides Mommy, using their... Mommy, you want to go inside? You want to go inside? Okay, we're almost done. Let me finish this book and then we'll go inside. No. We're going to practice your writing. You want to do your writing? I'm going inside. So, do you want to just stop right now on this one? Is that what we need to do? No, no, Okay. So, do you want me to finish this book, or are you gonna have a, 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 an episode? You want an episode? Okay. So, I'm gonna write this down so we can come back to it later. So that's what we're going to be on. <coughs> um, everybody, we're going to put a bookmark in this and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye. Before we go inside, I want to show you how we take care of Turbo, the snail. He does that. He was sleeping up here and he fell down off of it. And that's all I do is move him closer to the food and I spray all around the habitat. And then, since we're outside, and I'm doing this, I'll also spray around the top. Just to keep it cooler in their form. And that's how we do it. Um, the little pieces inside are the apples. Um, he needs apples. Uh, strawberries. That's what we've been really giving them. Size has still not been able to find once. So uh, right now that's all we're feeding them is apples and strawberries and he seems to be like that, so. We'll see you in the next video guys. Okay. Hey, bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
probably I think. 